Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by today's title I finally have a brace update and I didn't update after my last visit which was two weeks ago I think because all she did was she didn't do anything she just took some more pictures and said that I have to do my gum treatment morning and night top and bottom and that was that. So last night I realised I'd back at the dentist tomorrow I mean today and I was kind of like, I seriously need this bottom gap to shut. To be fair, it had pretty much closed. There was literally like a millimeter or so. Not even like a millimeter, literally like a gap as big as the needle left in the bottom. And I knew if I went back, I am just looking for my elastics, where are they? Over here. And I knew if I went back that she wouldn't do anything and she did tell me to do my gum treatment again because she thinks that the swelling in my gums is stopping the gap from closing. So she, my orthodontist doesn't actually know I did this, but I did do this. So I have these elastics, and these are not the ones that I use to close my bite. These are just some random other elastics that I bought because I needed some more to tie me on until I went back to the dentist to get more. And these were actually the wrong ones, so I didn't actually even end up using them. However, I have used these for what they are for. So last night I was like, okay, I need to try and shut this gap myself. So I got two of these elastics two or three of these elastics and put them across my brace pretty much doing exactly what my power chain does um obviously that was against my orthodontic orthodontist's instruction but i was like to hell with it this is exactly what she would do so i'm just gonna do it myself i literally left it on for about an hour and a half if that maybe an hour just whilst i was in the bath and the gap shut So needless to say, I got out of the bath and I took it off and I was like, oh my god, the gaff is shut, like, holy moly. So I was kind of like, okay, well, if it wasn't supposed to have shut, I guess it'll be open by the time I wake up in the morning. I've never woke up today, the gap still disappeared, so yay for me for breaking the rules. So I go into the orthodontist today and she tells me that they're ready to be removed. So. Um, she took my pictures as she always did and then she was like okay now it's time for me to take your impressions so I don't know about anybody else's orthodontist or whatever but uh, with mine she takes your impressions sends them off to the lab gets your retainer and then removes your braces once she gets your retainer back so she took my bottom impression and she wasn't feeling it she didn't like the stuff she was using so she wanted to use this other stuff however if she uses the other stuff, she needs a courier to be, like, in the area to pick up the impressions to take them to the lab because it can't be sent via mail because it has to be dealt with that same day. Obviously, there was no courier around today, so I have to go back tomorrow morning to get my impressions took then. So, that should mean I should have my braces off next week. We did discuss what sort of retainer I wanted and I'm going for the permanent one as well as the clear one that I put on on top of that. What is really rubbish is that I have to have my re permanent retainer put on the back and then have impressions done again. I hate getting impressions. It is the worst part of anything. It just feels like I just, oh, I'm just trying not to dry heave the whole way through. Um, but she said the stuff that she's using tomorrow literally takes 30 seconds to set so I think I'll be okay but if I have to get it done like I'm going to presume next week she's going to use this special stuff too because I clearly can't handle the other stuff um, but that is pretty much all I have to update on like I am getting my braces taken off I am getting a permanent retainer and the clear retainer oh I'm just going to put composite on this tooth I pretty much told her I just want to get it on the smaller tooth because I think 
that is my biggest issue. I think once all my braces are off and it's all sorted and this is made the same length and then she evens out all the rest just with a little file, I think I should be good and I should like them. But obviously, you know, once she's done my retainer, once she's put the composite on that, I'm pretty much set. So I can't really change my mind, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. Uh, yeah, so this is my teeth when they are ready to be removed. Also, um, my bite is perfect. I bit into a burger. It was like art. I was like... Uh, but I am still going to wear my elastics until I get them taken off just to make sure like it is set in stone. But let me know if you have any questions. Um, I, um, I just, I'm not going to believe that they are coming off until I'm in the chair. And she's like, yep, yeah, I'm taking them off. Even when I book the appointment tomorrow, I am still not going to believe that they are coming off. I'm just going to wait until I'm there. And she's like, yeah. <sighs> crazy but yes that is it my brace journey is nearly over oh <sighs> god help me what will i like do after this because i mean my brace videos have been so popular what am i even going to film for you sad times but yes i hope you guys enjoyed this little brace update and i'll see you on my next video bye